Hello and welcome to Open, everyone. You know, always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Bronxnet TV. And while you're there, tweet me too at Rina Valentin. Our last guest is one of New York's sought out comics from the Bronx who started his comedic career in the 90s. He's appeared on shows such as Showtime at the Apollo, along with BET Comic View. And uh, well, now he's here on Open. Please right. welcome. Comedian Eric Nieves. Thank you, thank you. It's good to be here. Oh. Round of applause. Oh yes, By round of way. applause for Eric Nieves, applause. everyone. You might as well. <laughs> can I can I use Bobby C's voice for the interview? No, Rena. It's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to see you. Well, you know, <laughs> that's a nice plug for him because he is considered the voice. That's the voice, man. Bobby C. I just the ladies must love him. I'm taking you on a date and I'm paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what he says, but. <laughs> But we'll ask afterwards. Ask. Well, it's good to be here on Open, oh. which is every bodega in the Bronx, always open. Well, yeah, we love it. We love it. Look, he already started. <laughs> you know, I thought we were going to have a serious interview. We are, you we are. To share. Well, no, only because you wanted to share your advocacy, and I think it's important that we talk about that, I even agree. though you're going to share some laughs with us afterwards. But uh, I don't know if people know this side of you, so let, let's just give them a little background on you and how you've even got to the journey of where you are with Montefiore. Okay, well, um, before I started doing comedy, I was already in the social services field, and my passion was HIV prevention. Now, obviously, in the 90s, was very different with HIV. It's not the treatment that's available today. Uh, but right now, what I'm, what I'm really passionate about is HIV prevention and keeping people from getting HIV. So I'm working with two projects. Uh, the first is called Engage NYC, which is a joint effort between the Bronx Community Healthcare Network and Montefiore to promote quality health care for the LGBT community, which is vastly underserved. Uh, and I also work with the em Bronx Empowerment Project, which is a group of young gay men between the ages of 18 to 29 that come together on a regular basis to educate each other, empower each other, and then take that knowledge and that passion and that information to their communities so we can spread that information around. Uh, but we feel that we can't be in every community, but if we can empower and educate an individual, they can change the communities where they live. Absolutely. And I think that's extremely important to give them the information that they can go out there and make a difference so we don't have to be there in person. Well, and not only that, um, you know, there's also the, the, the preventative measures that I, I don't even know if they're really out there. I mean, right now what we see primarily on television is commercials for, like, sustain, sustainability, you know, well, almost I mean, like, oh, well, you know, as opposed to, hey, this is how you can prevent it, aside from just talking about condoms. Well, condoms are always recommended regardless, but there is a new, uh, um, uh, there is a new, regimen that can protect you against HIV. It's called PrEP, uh, stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis, and it's basically a once a day regimen. You take a pill every day, and according to the last CDC study, it's up to 92% effective of preventing HIV infection. Now, if you combine that, if you're involved with someone sexually that's positive and they have a undetectable viral load because they're in care, then the chances of transmitting the virus are almost nil. And it's really part of a three-point process where we're trying to eliminate all new HIV cases by 2020. We can't change the ones that are already positive, but we can prevent new positives by getting people to know their status, get into care so that they can be virally suppressed, and prep for individuals that are at high risk. If we could do that, we really have a shot of ending this, ending all new HIV cases. And there, there, there are no diseases that you can end. You can't end cancer. You can't end lupus, but we can end new cases of HIV. And I think if we can really make our communities aware of that, we could change the future. I love it. That that's a wonderful positive note because you know everybody thinks it's like a, a terminal. Uh, well, actually, it's date, not. <laughs> you it, know, <laughs> it really isn't. I mean, being HIV positive now, you can manage it almost like diabetes. If you stick to your regimen, you go to your doctor's appointments, you take care of yourself. It it it, it won't affect your life the way it did in the past. Treatment has come so far, so fast. And so an individual that's positive, it's not gonna affect their long-term life. They can be themselves, they can live the lives they were meant to live, they could, but they just have to manage it. I gotta tell you, you know, I'm, all, I'm really captivated because I'm like, I ain't never seen this side of Eric. I'm like, <laughs> yes, well, oh, Eric, I love to, it, I love it. You have to understand, it. You can't, being comedic, it, uh, it helps with this right. because uh, you, know, you have to engage people, you have to make people feel comfortable with comedy. It's the same way when you're dealing with a very touchy subject like sex, and the, the decisions we make during sex. And allowing to have a little lightness to an otherwise heavy tone makes a big difference. We always hear all the heavy stuff about HIV prevention and the scare tactics. Sex is supposed to be fun. Sex is supposed to be enjoyed. 
So I, I like to make the message and the information that I disseminate as enjoyable as possible because it's supposed to be enjoyed. So where are you that uh, it, can people uh, obtain the, what are, what are they, pamphlets? Do you have seminars? Like what exactly well, are you doing um, with Monica? We, I, we have a HIV prevention center, which is a private house located on uh, 3058 Bainbridge Avenue, not far from here actually. Uh, we, we provide free HIV testing for free. Uh, free condoms. Uh, actually, we have a uh, pantry three days a week for those that are, uh, are have food shortage in the home. There's a, that's a big issue in the Bronx as mm -hmm. well. Uh, if anyone wants to come by, get to know their status, get some condoms, get some education, some information. And that's also where the Bronx Empowerment Group meets once a week. And uh, there's nothing better than peers supporting peers. Uh, I think that anybody always listens and accepts some information easier if it comes from someone that's walking a mile in their shoes right. and that's why it's important to educate young people because young people listen to other young people and we want this information out there. Beautiful. Once again, another paying it forward story. EngageNYC.com is where they NYC, can go. Uh, dot org and also at, at uh, Bronx Empowerment Project on Instagram. Check that out. Um, you go to those and you'll see some information about our programs and see what we're trying to do and maybe you'd like to be involved. Beautiful, thank you. So this is the heavy side of uh, Eric, but when we come back, <laughs> he's gonna loosen up. That was so the yeah, heavy sign. That was the heavy sign. We're gonna take a quick break, but then when we return, Eric's gonna perform, well, he's gonna perform some stand-up, Yes, I will. All right, so stay right there.